What's up everybody, it's Dude Nemo, we right back in the building and today we got Crunchy Black. Crunchy Black was on the Vlad TV show today, everybody. Well, you know, everybody know that Crunchy Black called him Glad. <laughs> he be calling him Glad TV. But Crunchy Black was on the interview, and he was in interview today, everybody, and he had an interesting take on what is transpiring in Memphis, the Memphis Police Department, and a connection with the Young Dolph murder. Now, now, Crunchy Black made a slip something out. I don't know, I don't know. Y'all be the judge, y'all be the judge. Now, let's get into the video. And the video has been released and right. it is absolutely gruesome. I watched the entire thing, all the different angles, the, the police cam footage, as well as the overhead camera from the street light. Uh, man, it was heartbreaking. Yeah, man, that, that was really bad. Um, they blocked the whole stretch, I mean, uh, the uh, bridge off down here. They blocked the whole bridge off. They had um, police, all the police was focusing downtown where the old bridge at, and um, they kind of went to the neighborhood and tore up a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Broken trucks. Um, some stores they broke their windows and shit. You know, I just got to for, for that type of shit that goes on. I want to say that, uh, to the younger kids who probably had something to do with that. Well, you know, they say fight fire with fire, but um, I don't think they mean us tearing up our shit where we can't go to the store and, and buy anything or the store owner acting real funny with you now because you know he's in the neighborhood. So you know we got to do a little more thinking before we go and um, get to doing uh, stuff. It was real bad that that happened to him, but. You gotta keep in mind, you can't tap your neighborhood. Yeah, I mean, I actually watched it from beginning to end. And, you know, a lot of times things are kind of gray area. Sometimes people, uh, you know, resist arrest or, or they do crazy things. Sometimes they're on drugs and so forth. But in this particular case, man, this young kid, Tyree Nichols didn't do anything. Didn't do nothing. He was just minding his own business. He was a skater kid. He was doing photography. He was coming home to see his mom. He right. was three blocks away. He was minding his own business. He was not driving recklessly at all, at all. And they just pulled him out and looked like hyenas, man. They just pulled him out the car, started attacking him, started pepper spraying him, hitting the face with batons. Uh, man, I don't know. It almost seemed like the police were on drugs or something yeah, like they that. Yeah, they probably was because uh, lately, down here, the police, well, I'm going to say even when me and Paul, all of us really stayed in Memphis, they started back then, I'd say, because um, some of the guys that was on the force that was pulling niggas over and running up in houses and shit and taking their money and their dope, but they're not turning them in and they're not taking no people to jail. So they kept doing that for so much. Well, I guess it led up to this. They somewhere getting drunk and high, like you said. And um, they just, I, I just think the police been on some older shit down here lately. Well, the unit that actually did it, they were called the Scorpion Unit. Right. But they're also known as the Jump Out Boys. Right, okay, yeah, and all Jump Out Boys around this area, we know that they're gonna jump out and put them drugs and, uh, and try to lock up a lot of niggas and shit, but, you know, niggas don't hang on the corner no more. We don't even hang at the stores no more. Well, some of them do, but... Well, you yourself, during your time in Memphis, what was the worst experience you've ever had with police, if any? Yeah, you know, I, I really ain't had no, um, no bad shit with the police because, you know, I was taught to, um, at least show them some kind of respect and if they um end up um doing what they did to him then you know you just had to go in the way you had to go in but i was taught to give them folks respect you know what i'm saying as long as they ain't actually trying to do nothing to harm me then i don't um be having a nasty attitude with them so i, I ain't gonna lie like i had something bad done to me because of the police but um it's all good okay well, what about someone close to you what have you seen the worst thing that happened with them in terms of police well uh, i would say um actually shit See where I'm from in the hood and shit where I'm from, we don't sit around and play like that. You get what I'm saying? We don't even give them enough time. You know, a lot of people smart uh, from when I came up because they would have dope on them or have dope somewhere else and they wouldn't run from the police. You get what I'm saying? And when it came to, I really think this shit happened because of, the, I'm going to say it, like, I always got to make sure I say the best shit for you. I'm going to say it. I just think that they, um, you know, that dope shit got a lot of shit off the chains right now. And, you know, it was some police officer that had something to do with that. You get what I'm saying? Dope shit got a lot of shit off the chains right now and you know it was some police officer that had something to do with that you get what i'm saying they was part of they played a big part in it and now that the the tables are the building is crumbling you know maybe them boys were some of the boys that dealt with that dog situation where now it's like um it's like uh, they probably going through some things because they know their ass going to jail too you get what i'm saying their ass most definitely going to jail for this dog stuff you know what i'm saying now make sure y'all let me know in the comment box what y'all think about this. You know, I, I, I'm not saying anything about it. You know, is it a connection? Is it not? Or it is just a, a conspiracy that Crunchy Black is coming up with? I don't know. But make sure you like and subscribe to Dude Nim in the building, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you press that like button before you get up out of here. Dude Nim, yeah.